Oh, this, this is good tea, you know, this, this ain't your grandma's tea. Okay. This is, this is some yerba mate shit, you know, all organic. Come on. This, this, this stuff is bought straight at Whole Foods. It's like 40 times the cost. No human being in their right mind should be able to afford drinking it. And yet there it is. What up, everyone? Jeremy from the Quartering here. I haven't been following the Jeremy versus Ian Miles Chong drama for a while. I know that they, they've clashed a handful of times, but uh, I'm eager to learn all the details of this sordid affair, to say the very least. If you're watching what's going on uh, on the leftist side of YouTube right now, between the Young Turks, between Jimmy Dore and Kyle Kalinske, you could see the left begging them to stop the infighting because it's a bad look. Um, on the right, for example, I've criticized people like Tim Pool and others. People don't necessarily like that. There's so some background there. He got absolutely wasted while he was on the Tim Pool compound, and then just did this vicious like evisceration of the Beanie Empire. And I think he's not invited back since. So, uh, oops. It's this weird unwritten rule where you don't openly criticize someone on your side or someone who's fighting the good fight. But there's one particular individual that I think continues to garner significant clout following and influence in American politics. And it's extraordinarily frustrating as somebody who knows the dark truth about uh, this individual. Now, as always, and I will reiterate here, please do not uh, reach out to this person. Don't interact with them. Uh, I don't condone any dogpiling. But what I am don't reach out to them condone dogpiling i understand what air quotes are asking is that you listen to what i have to say here and that you reconsider possibly sharing this person as an authoritative source that you reconsider websites that continue to embed his tweets like the daily wire and even my friend carl benjamin sargon of akad's lotus eaters website is paying this guy um it is absolutely without a doubt in my opinion irrefutable anyway it's not just my opinion it is irrefutable that ian miles chong has done some horrendous things to other people including but not limited to doxing them um admitting to i agree i uh, wow nice which i will show you uh allegedly getting a dog injured uh and laughing about it which i will show you something he's denied so i assume that he's going to obviously delete all the videos in which he used ein Mio, uh, ein Mio Chong as a credible source that's that's the next step right he's he's not gonna he's not gonna keep not gonna keep doing that obviously because now he's he's been he's been thoroughly thoroughly vetted I'd vehemently on twitter yet mm, audio clips exist of him admitting it and laughing about it this is a man that stole money from me uh, directly that lied to me for months as an employee. This is not somebody that I want to see continually retweeted by authoritative sources. This is somebody that's never set foot on American soil, but has grifted their way successfully to some sort of authoritative source because he just takes other people's clips and posts them on the internet. Never, of course, giving credit to the original source, something any real journalist would do or would at least try to do, or would do occasionally. Uh, Ian Miles Chong is the definition of- Oh God, uh, like if you see me looking as if someone just farted in my face, it's it's not because of, you know, there's some kind of smell of vision going on for me watching the quarter and it's because it's that dog, that dog is now sleeping soundly and he is, he is just letting them rip. Man, what is up with dogs? They, they like, they fart so much. And it's always silent. You, you never know what's coming. It just happens. You'll just be sitting there and you'll be like, oh God, what the fuck? How, how is something so small releasing so much ass? It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Something so small and so cute, so adorable, and yet so much ass. It, it's blinding at times, you know? Absolutely blinding. This is somebody who has had every possible political belief at the most opportune time for themselves, the most profitable time for them to be left-leaning, they were. The most profitable time for them to be right-leaning, they were. They have never, in my opinion, believed anything politically about what the side, quote-unquote, is that they're supporting. It's been about money. This is somebody that took my money, said they were using it to pay 
an assistant to help aggregate articles, only to find out that they were giving that money to an e-girl to buy an iPhone. Okay, this is somebody that should have been ignored years ago, yet, like the cockroach, continues to thrive. <laughs> This I, is, I am so here for this. All of this. Did go off. Just a small taste of why I am concerned with the number of people that continue to follow, tweet, retweet, and quote Ian Miles Chong. Let's talk about exhibit one. Okay. This is a man who started a business with somebody, uh, somebody he called a friend. This person's name is Andy Worski. This is a few years ago during the internet blood sports era of YouTube. Doesn't matter if you don't know what that is, I will inform you. It was a live debate uh, era of YouTube that got particularly spicy and there were some things said and done uh, that were not up to uh, YouTube standards and that entire genre was essentially scrubbed from the internet. During that time, it was politically and personally expedient and profitable for Ian Miles Chong to be appearing on these streams, to be orbiting people like Andy Worski and Ethan Ralph and Mr. Medicare and all of these people that were at the forefront of that kind of stream world. That is such a weird rabbit hole to go down, by the way. Andy Worski, like what a fucking professional weirdo. Just through and through. He was appearing regularly as a, a strong believer in right-wing ideals and an anti-SJW. And this is a guy, again, who has never set foot on American soil, has zero skin in the game, and profits exclusively on rage-baiting and whipping everyone up into a fervor with out-of-context clips. He doesn't actually take the time to provide any context or add additional information to the clips he shares. He knows exactly what he's doing. This is... I, I wish he had this kind of clarity, uh, clairvoyance, if you will, when it came to topics uh, pertaining to every other person in the right wing griftosphere, you know, like that would that would be wonderful if he actually was able to like identify this with like, I, I, I agree. I, I agree. You know, now him admitting on tape. To not just doxing, but uh, but swatting a business partner, another YouTube, putting their life at risk and thinking sure. it was hilarious. That happened. Even though you see here, I called the police a few days ago to report Andy Worski for the suspicion of a crime. It had nothing to do with incidents they are accusing me of or swatting or hurting anybody. These claims are exaggerated for the purpose of feeding a narrative. What that narrative is, he doesn't say. He just says, well, here I am caught in 164K admitting to... I feel like the quartering could do a good takedown of the quartering, you know, because it is obviously, you know, the pot calling the kettle black. Uh, so so that would be wonderful. You know, that, that, that would be a, a glorious thing to watch. Swatting somebody, uh, trying to impress a girl. And um, it's just not true. It's simply not true. It's they're trying to. Why is it, why is he talking about this old news? Because he's doing a character study, of course. Um, I mean, he should be talking about his firsthand experience, uh, which is why I was kind of interested in this in the first hand. But uh, yeah, let's 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 just do a deep dive of uh, Ian Miles Chong. Destroy me, a Malaysian man who's profiting off American suffering. They're, they're, they're turning against me with evidence. I, I love how he keeps bringing patriotism into this, by the way. How dare he? How dare he speak ill of my country when he doesn't even live here? It's of me doing terrible things. <laughs> Let's look at some of the, the downloads, including kinkpride.mp4. Ooh. Ooh, quartering. What, what's, your, what's your late night view and pleasure going down there? Huh? What you, what you been enjoying in your free time? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it could be a it could be a, a many a many splendid thing, but who who knows? We'll never know. I guess that's that's just going to be part of quartering lore. Therefore, it cannot be true. Take a listen. Thing out saying that she's going to make a video on me, that really actually set me off. Um, I did not need to see that. I'm more than happy to just let him leave me alone. But he forced my hand, so I called the police. I actually, I actually called the police on him. Uh, I know what he does. I know he has illegal firearms. I know that he uh, is deeply entrenched in the alt-right. I know that he has a lot of cocaine in his house. Uh, yeah, he's True, Mildred. He's I even talked to them True. on the phone. So, who knows? Maybe they'll pay him a visit very soon. Okay, there is no doubt that he purposely sent these people to, again, somebody whom he was friends with and was having a... Dis a business disagreement because at the time they had created a YouTube channel together called Hypebreak, I believe, and they were going through a nasty parting of that. 
his way of handling that business disagreement was to put Andy Worski's life at risk willingly and laugh about it. He then goes on to claim, If anyone can produce evidence that there was a swatting incident with a flashbang or involving a dog... Oh, muted. Great. Great. Well, that's fantastic. You'll never know. You'll never know my pithy remarks. They were so pithy. Oh, man. That was, that was like peak, peak pith. Oh, well. Promote the lie that was regarding a fabricated incident. That's two boomers if today. only there were audio where you were having a conversation with the person who was at the receiving end of this, had their dog injured, where you admitted and apologized for doing it. If only there was audio showing this. But uh, several <laughs> shirts have been shown. <laughs> I love how proud he is of these gotchas from 2019. <laughs> Went to my father's house and threw a flashbang in the pool. With, this uh, is all so wi wildly known. I mean, hey, may maybe, maybe it's not known in conservative circles. Maybe this is the first time they're all learning of it, and everyone is just like, "What? I am aghast! How? How? How could this have happened?" Uh, my dad's dog. In. So you blew up a f yellow Labrador retriever uh, because of mistaken <laughs> identity. Real. So, and I know that's food in your country and all, but look, that's not <laughs> oh my god. So. I was misled, clearly misled, and the idea was that you were, you know, you were this guy, right? And, Dude, uh, it was f***ing up, my dad was totally out of line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah I know, totally, totally didn't deserve to, to get flash-banged and all that. Totally apologize for that. She's born now. She's born. <laughs> oh, it's in my regards. Oh, uh, yeah, but so, yeah, no, seriously, though, so, no, that was a f*** up. That was a f*** up. Now you're laughing? You think that's funny? No, absolutely not. Now, thirdly, yes, this is personal to me, because he didn't just take my money. He took your money because back when we tried to survive as a games only website with exclusively games, that project was crowdfunded. It was also supported by a lot of my money. On top of that, we ultimately failed to be sustainable, probably because we don't have huge backers or probably because websites are dead. It's a wide variety of reasons. I digress. I just noticed his new little background. I mean, he hides it well, but oh my. He's got a don't step on kick little wooden banner behind him. Hmm. Don't tread on me. I thought Ian was well connected at that time. So I hired him as my editor in chief for the website because I don't know anything about running websites. And <laughs> within days, he had begun. These are the capitalists, by the way. <laughs> these, these are the capitalists doing capitalism. <laughs> appropriating company funds to, and I kid you not, send money to an e-girl so she could buy an iPhone. I am not kidding. I only discovered this after he had drawn several salaries, monthly salary payments from me, and then requested more money for an assistant, which I provided him. And when I asked what this assistant... Wow. Wow. This... This is good tea, you know? This this ain't your grandma's tea, okay? This is this is some yerba mate shit, you know? All organic. Come on. This 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 stuff is bought straight at Whole Foods. It's like 40 times the cost. No human being in their right mind should be able to afford drinking it, and yet there it is. Assistant would be doing or what they had been doing because they had obvious uh uh tasks outlaid. I was convinced it was a relatively small amount of money and I was anxious to get the website going. And so I believed that this would help get articles going faster. After one or two payments to said assistant, I started to question what exactly they were doing. And when I did, <laughs> he immediately folded and admitted the truth that he was stealing my money. That's why I don't like Ian. I think you would understand and respect that. I think most people would. This man <laughs> yes, is a manipulator. Yes, absolutely. As, hey, God, wow. No honor amongst thieves, eh? Is, is that what's going down here? Holy shit. Wow. So he stole money from the quartering to pay an e-girl, and so he could buy an e-girl an iPhone. <laughs> that, makes, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Later a shapeshifter, a chameleon, <laughs> surviving off the division in America when he doesn't have to live in it. 
<laughs> He's never set foot here from what I can I know. tell. I know. Never I'm plans to. Yet I'm going somehow full this dude I'm going full tomato town. All right. That this is what the song was about, you know? Yeah. Come on. I, I am now a Fortnite gamer. I am I am Tomato Town. Holy shit. I can't I can't believe this happened. Dude gets on Fox News. Somehow Joe Rogan call shouts this guy out. This guy is, if you call yourself a conservative, this guy is not good for conservatives. If you call yourself a liberal, he's not good for you, although I suspect you already know that. I don't know how he keeps getting jobs. Carl knew, he knew that he did this to me. He knows about the swatting. He knows about the doxing. And he still hired him. What are people doing? Is there literally nobody else out there? This guy... You hired him. Y you did it. You, you did the thing, the, the thing you're all upset about. This was a new information. Everyone knew. Holy fuck. He's, he's, he is not to be trusted. He is disingenuous. He is the definition of a grifter. Now, a lot of people throw that term around all the time, but I think both left and right will agree with me on this, that Ian Miles Chong is a grifter. The left agrees. Sp speaking, speaking as the council of left, the, the left agrees. And he is dangerous to all sides. Now, I'm not saying the guy should be deplatformed. I'm not saying anything at all. What I'm saying... <laughs> That <laughs> should be his entire channel logo. <laughs> I'm not saying anything at all. That's that's the quarter. <laughs> is educate yourself. Understand the type of person you're propping up when you're retweeting them. Understand the type of person that you're giving uh, thousands of dollars of a month to to run on your website. Understand the type of person that you're. I'm not trying to cancel them in any way, shape, or form, but hey, be aware that you're giving money to someone who is terrible, so maybe don't do that thing. You know, that's not cancel culture. That's, hey, hey, I, I'm not saying anything. You've seen the logo, all right? It's, it's, it's a brand. Dailywire.com, when you embed their tweets. <clears throat> it's not their original video. I'm sure there is someone else who posted it. Just food for thought. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you on real soon. Damn, he's mad. He's real mad. Fair dues. Fair dues. I mean, you know, yeah, you hired someone who's who's a pretty pretty shady character, and then surprise, surprise, he did some say some shady shit. It's almost a tongue twister. Shady shit. Shit shady. Oh snap. Doing some freestyle here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing, you know, that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives? Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like, just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just it's not a great company. But hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, Xander Corvus and VK Jehannam, we are prepared to commit human sacrifices for your eternal glory. To our monarchs, the Tim Caucus and Tom Spiker, we are humbled to be your oafish jesters, clowning around in your royal court. To our lords, Evan Nudy, Tofox, Ryan Lubin, Trevor R., Jeff Lamb, and Alexander Thaler, we shall proudly carry your standard onto the battlefield and die for your precious land. To our esteemed Knights of the Round Table, Dark Puppy, Jenna Tal, Anna Loves Riley, Quiet185, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Multimondi, Trevor Janis, Lemmy101, Anthropophojack, Saren42, Chronic to Hemphog, The Great Poudini, Bone Genie, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramona Costa, Jay Fraser Cartwright, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, 
Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Yopi, Josh Mickelson, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We raise our glass, we raise our swords, and we salute you.